The sun is absolutely beating down this afternoon. There is a bit of cloud, but plenty of time to play with solar. And it's breezy too, so it's the perfect opportunity to test a solar panel. And it's this one I'm going to look at. And uh, it's a 30 watt semi-flexible panel here. And on the box it came in, it says Mohu, who are the manufacturers, and it's a sun power cell, according to this, 30 watt uh, tent, it says on there, but uh, I guess you don't have to use it in a tent. And there we have it, so there's nine solar cells on there. There we go, Mohu, and uh, down here it says, protective film, please remove it before use. So uh, that explains this rippling. And uh, I've eased the corner off here and the protective film actually goes behind these eyelets um, so especially one-handed that makes it a little bit difficult to remove so on the back it has a proper junction box here uh, the two cables coming out they're relatively thin but remember this is only a 30 watt panel uh, 30 watts at 1000 watts per meter squared and 25 degrees C uh, 1.6 amps 18 volt maximum power point uh, open circuit voltage 20 volts and short circuit current 1.85 amps and as you can see it's uh, 42 by 41 centimeters and uh, it says only two millimeters thick and you know what, it is two millimetres thick. Now putting that junction box on the back of the panel is a slightly peculiar decision, in my opinion, because usually with a flexible panel, you want to mount it flat onto something, and obviously that makes it very difficult. And uh, with just these eyelets here, um, it's going to be a strange mounting system if you want to attach this to, I don't know, a caravan roof or something. Now there's a good chance you won't be able to see that, but it's 0.3 millimeter squared cable, according to the uh, label written on it, and it terminates on crocodile clips. Um, I guess intended so you can connect it straight to a car battery or something like that. So this construction is a little bit odd. I assume these were bus bars, but actually these are separate strips, and you can see that there with the material underneath changing colour slightly and sadly um, I've already developed a scratch on this panel here so the uh, cover is a little bit delicate. If we look at the size of the Mohu against my 50 watt panel here in the background well the surface area does suggest that it might be able to do 30 watts. And you can see this item here on Amazon, it's $44.99 here in the UK, and I'll place a link to this item down in the description below. And as you can see, it's available in 30, 50 and 100 watt panel versions. It claims here that the panel can be bent up to 30 degrees, but that's not something I'm going to test. And it suggests you can uh, just glue it to a straight surface here, but that's going to be terribly difficult with that junction box on the back of the uh, 30 watt model and you can see uh, it mentions the sun power solar cell here um, 22 percent efficiency claims here when most panels are 17 to 19 percent efficient so the mohu is under full sunlight now and down here we have the meters and we're going to be able to see the voltage across the panel on this one the current that's coming into the system through the Vicky and uh, this MPPT solar charge controller should put the panel in its most efficient position uh, to get as much energy into this small lead acid battery as possible and this small lead acid battery is currently sitting at 11.8 volts well under charge so uh, let's uh, connect it up and see what happens so we've got 19.4 volts on that panel 800 milliamps coming in um, this should be in bulk mode yes it is so it's showing 
one nine amps going into the battery there so 19 times 0 0.8 well at the moment it's sitting at about 15 watts I'd suggest something like that let's see if it manages to do anything better so of course the Sun has gone behind a cloud now so we just need to give it a minute or two okay so quick the Sun's come out from behind its cloud let's connect up the panel and it's brought it down to 18 volts there or so and uh, for a moment I think I saw nearly 2 amps but uh, this is in bulk mode where it should be and uh, that battery is now rising up but we're seeing 19 volts now and 900 milliamps which suggests about 15 watts um, let's just uh, put a load back on that battery and uh, make sure we can get the best we can possibly out of this panel which is definitely in decent sunlight at the moment so under the current sun we're seeing 18.9 volts times 0 0.936 uh, milliamps so that's giving us 17.6 uh, watts uh, from a claimed 30 watt panel so I'm afraid today I just can't get the 30 watts out of that panel despite my best efforts just uh, 17 and a half watts probably on average despite using MPPT and uh, well tracking that Sun as best I can using this chair so there we have the Muhu semi-flexible sun power solar panel which sadly today at least can't quite live up to the 30 watts claimed hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i'll see you next time thanks for watching